What's up, Soft Strong Nation? Joe Simons, like diamonds, we are back talking about tackle, the state of the union for the saltwater tackle fishing industry. Got my boy Justin, head of tackle, Salt Strong. What's up, dude? What is up, man? How are you, dude? It's been crazy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you remember? You remember uh, last year when this whole COVID thing hit and and everyone was stockpiling toilet paper because we thought we were going to run out. And that was like the sign of things to come. Yeah. And then I remember that that period of time where we were getting introduced to toilet paper brands that we've never seen before. And you know what? That's okay because everybody needed toilet paper and you just kind of rolled with it and we made it through on the other side clean, pun intended. Um, and here we are. And what did we learn from it? We learned that it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> well, that's part of the reason we're in here. And if you thought the toilet paper problem was bad, the tackle thing might be even worse, although it doesn't smell as bad. So here's where we are. And we want to do this because I, I truly believe that no one's talking about this. And, and we kept hearing from all these tackle manufacturers that, you know, things are getting better and, you know, it's going to be here soon. And, and it just, it wasn't happening. You guys are probably, you have to be frustrated as a consumer. I'm frustrated as a consumer. And just so you know, we have, I mean, well over, $500,000 of, of pending orders M might be closer to 800,000 now. Cause we just keep putting more and more in cause we can't get stuff. And some of these go back yeah. six, seven months. And in, in a sentence, we have seen what I, I would say is if a double triple, maybe even a quadruple in certain, certain areas of the fishing tackle world in terms of demand. So demand has gone up, let's just say two to three fold and supply is shrunken more than ever before. It is so tough. And, and some of it's because they can't get workers. Some of it's because of COVID is knocking people out and knocking pods of groups having to quarantine. Some of it's because of, of shipping. And, and you guys have seen what's happening with just container ships in general. Hopefully you have. Uh, and not, I'm not talking about just the one that blocked up the canal. That was just one of many issues. But there's a shortage of container ships. There's a shortage of con actual containers. And because of that, the reason we talked about toilet paper, all these manufacturers and all these big international shippers, they're all acting just like we were as consumers with toilet paper. Well, I, gosh, if there's no more containers left and I want to make sure I get them. And so everyone's basically bought up all these containers from, from fishing rods and reels to to car tires and bicycles and camping equipment and literally any consumable you can imagine. I mean, Johnson and Johnson hair shampoo. I mean, all of these different manufacturers are buying up all these containers. And then you got the customs. Let's just say normally you had 300 people in customs, right? 100, 200, whatever is at each little port. And now you got some people who just aren't showing up anymore because of, you know, some, in my opinion, some bad decisions that the government has made of, of continuing to give people crazy unemployment. It's one thing I'm all about helping people out who need help, who are getting fired and cannot find work. When someone who has a job doesn't show up because they can get paid the same by sitting on their butt, I have a big problem with that. And I hope you do as well. There's a lot of that happening, not just in Applebee's and stuff that you're seeing in the news. It's happening even in our industry where people who have jobs, who have a boss who is calling them saying, where are you? aren't showing up because they can make a similar amount by sitting at home doing nothing. That's just flat out laziness. And that's a part of the problem. And then you have the rest of these people who are getting illness or they're getting COVID and they have to go get tested. And if they're positive, they got to quarantine for seven to 10 or 14 days. And then all of the people who work with them have to go get tested and the same thing happens. So we've got fewer workers than ever before. We have more fishermen and anglers at any other point in history. I mean, we, we're breaking records for new anglers, which is awesome. And that's a big part of our mission here at Saltstrong is to get people out there fishing. So that, that part's cool, but it's really, really tough. And it's super frustrating, both as a consumer, because I'm one as well, and as someone who's trying to buy tackle for consumers. I mean, with our own harder money, I mean, it, trust me, if you want to see frustration, you should see me every morning when I'm like, what? How, how can how, how can I not like give you a million dollars, five, whatever? Like we've literally said, we will wire you money if you just send us stuff. And like, we have our hands tied. We have nothing. And it's not just us. I mean, Bass Pro, Dicks, Cabela's, they're all yeah. in the same boat. It is crazy, crazy, crazy frustrating. So uh, all that spew being said, we just want to, we want to address the truth of what's happening out there. We're not going to sugarcoat it. We're going to say like it is. Cause I don't believe anyone's doing it. I know our friends over there, J and H uh, it's Josh, right? 
Um, he, he did one with, uh, with Shimano, you know, wrote a letter about what's going on. Shimano just flat out doesn't know what's going on. Like they, they, and they were very, at least they were honest about it and wrote a letter to all their manufacturers says, guys, we just don't know what's happening. We can't even tell you when it's going to get better. Uh, and, but yet no one else seems to be really doing that. So we've been going up to the top of the top. We're kind of sick and tired like you of just hearing like, Hey, warm and fuzzy. Hey, due to COVID, everything's taking longer. Who? All right. Why? Like, Give us some answers. So we've been going to the very top of all these manufacturers, the, the Daiwas and the, the pure fishings, the pins of the world, and just trying to get answers. And we're finally at least getting some. And at least people are honest. Some some just saying, we don't know. We've never seen this before. We can't get answers from, you know, this the ship uh, that's sitting there in between somewhere, LA and, and Vietnam. I mean, there's just all this chaos. So we want to at least tell you exactly what we know and have this be more of an ongoing conversation about the tackle industry and, and where it's going and, and hopefully when things will get better. So Justin, can you hear me? Exactly. I know you had a little bit of a delay. Yeah, uh, I know I'm having a little bit of a delay here on my side, but the biggest thing we want you guys to know is the last thing we ever want to tell you is, I don't know. It is not a great thing when someone asks us, when can we see more reels? When can we see more jig heads and rods? And, you know, what's going on? I just want to give you my money and get tackle and go fishing. And in 2020, people can shrug their shoulders and say COVID, but we're actually past that. Now it's, it's a lot bigger than that. It is just compounded exponentially over the past six to eight months and as Joe mentioned, we have hundreds of thousands of dollars in pending orders of things that we've had in since August or even later than that, that we have not seen yet. So understand that we have even scoped and forecasted and tried to roll with the punches from COVID in the middle of 2020, anticipating that we're trying to safeguard ourselves and have product for now in the heat of spring and the beginning of the real fishing season here in the Southeast. And a lot of times when we look back at these orders of how much we need of something, if we're ordering hundreds of a particular item, we'll randomly just get 10 of it or 20 of it. And, and a lot of times we don't know when we're going to get it or really how much we're going to get of those items. And it's incredibly frustrating. And instead of you know, stomping our feet and pouting and, and complaining and barking at these manufacturers, we think it's important to do two things. We think it's important to number one, have candid conversations and say, hey guys, what's going on? Share with us this information, share with us anything you can, because we feel that it's important to not only teach, you know, people how to be better at fishing and encourage people to go out and fish, but to have a better grasp of what's happening in this industry and all types of industries. The cycling industry is the same way. Anything with plastics manufacturing is, is gonna take a big hit in 2021. And we're learning a lot every single week about how we can better prepare for the future. What orders do we need to get in? What do we need to ask for? And when can we expect stuff? And to be honest, Joe, one thing we're noticing is, you know, there was a point in time where if you wanted to order something back in March or February of 2020, you know, two to four weeks for a bunch of reels or a bunch of rods or some lures or jig heads, you'd see it. And then in a short period of a couple months, by about April of last year until the end of May or early June, that all got eaten up really, really fast. And what ended up happening is there's all these back orders that these manufacturers are trying to supply from almost a year back. And we're, we're one of those. We're, we're right up there with the Bass Pros and all the big box stores where they're trying to fill the backlog of demand, let alone stuff that people need right now. Um, so our planning and our strategies are very different than the fishing industry had been for a long, long time, where in Florida, if you need something at once, you place an order at once and you get it in a couple of weeks. Now it's like an at once order is really, hey, can we hope to see it before the end of 2021? I mean, that's, that's crazy to say out loud and think about, but that's what we've learned. And that is what's happening in the industry today. And we feel that it's important to share with you guys exactly what's going on and what we're trying to do to navigate around that and, and teach you guys just so we can create a, a realistic understanding of, of where we're at and kind of what's going on. So when you guys say, when can I see more of this particular reel, this particular rod? 
we are trying to try to say, I don't know, we're going to try to find out, but, but bear with us. You know, we're doing our best to get as, as much information as we can and any answers we can to help you guys prepare too. Yeah. And, and a lot of you guys might not know this, but salt strong because of, of all you, because of our amazing audience and, and really because of our insider club, you know, now it's 21,000 strong. We've quickly become one of the larger, if not one of the largest uh, tackle for inshore saltwater retailers in the whole state of Florida and probably the Southeast. So that's the good news is these manufacturers, they know who we are. Uh, I mean, they, they take our calls. We get up to the very top. Um, and to put in perspective, you kind of touched on it. Justin said, you know, normally if let's just say we wanted to get a, a pretty big order of, of reels and let's just like dive with fuegos and, you know, three weeks, four weeks, that would be like, all right, we, we'd almost be like mad, like, oh, come on, it's taking forever. Uh, but normally they'd have that kind of stuff in warehouse. So they have it in transit and they can move it and, and get it to us in, in pretty quick fashion. Let's just say a month. And and we we just talked to the some of the head people at, at Daiwa and put a pretty big order. And I'm talking thousands of reels. And, and I'm not wanting to scare you because we're, we're getting Daiwa's. We're getting some in like very soon. Uh, it's just kind of piecemeal. Uh, yep. But we put, let's just say it's 3000 reels. That's a, that's a big order. And anyone who works in retail for one, that's one, really one, one skew. Uh, so it's a big order. And they came back to us and they said, yeah, by the time we could get you all of it, it's going to be September of 2022. That's not a typo. I thought I was like, you mean 2021? Like, no, September of 2022. And, and that's not just Daiwa. I mean, that's that's what Shimano said. I mean, they have no idea how long stuff like that's going to take. Pins in the same issue. I mean, all of the big boys, all of it, I mean, not even just reels. You mentioned soft plastic. Everyone is having these same kind of issues. And it's just like this perfect storm that has hit. And, and that's really, really frustrating because I personally thought it was getting better. And I know a lot of consumers think, oh, yeah, it's like, it seems like it's getting better because you might all of a sudden walk into a Bash Pro or maybe you check out our site and, and all of a sudden we have all this stuff. You're like, oh, things are getting better. And then 24 hours later, it's all gone. And you're like, oh, things aren't getting better. And, and yeah. we're just here to tell you candidly, it's, it's not getting better. Uh, I, I don't know that it's getting worse. Uh, it's just not getting better. And I don't think there's a light in sight in terms of over the next five, six months. I think all these manufacturers would say that just keep 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 buying your toilet paper for this the rest of this year. We're you know we're only a few months into the yeah. year, and they're basically saying keep buying as much as you can and getting whatever you can and put your orders in, and we're going to try to do our best to fulfill them up until the end of this year. Uh, meaning it it's not projected to get better anytime in 2021. Uh, that doesn't mean you're not going to be able to get what you want. That doesn't mean you're not going to be able to pick up, you know, a, a nice Daiwa Fuego, 2,500, 3,000, your nice custom bull bay, salt strung rod or TFO. We're going to get all that stuff in. It's just going to be piecemeal. And I will tell you if you want this stuff, because we are one of the first to get it. I mean, you can call up TFO or Daiwa and ask. I mean, we're getting stuff the same time frame Bass Pro does. I mean, we're we're up there on their list because of you guys, uh, because we're pushing so much product, especially because we're like a consumer ports where we're not going to carry a million SKUs like Bass Pro. We don't want we don't want a million products. Half that stuff's crap. We want to carry the absolute best stuff. And because we, we have these niches on really great products, we're able to buy them in bulk and we have their attention. But it, it, it's just, it's going to be small, small pieces. And so if you want a piece of that, then get on the notifications. Uh, we can't harp on that enough. You know, we've, we've spent a lot of time and energy putting that in where you can even get a text and or email notification right there at fishstrong.com for any product we have. And of course, what we're doing now for our insider members is we're giving them first dips, just so you know. Uh, we're, we're very equitable, not equal, meaning we're, we're, we're going to give all of our incident members first dibs. If they're on that notification list, they're getting notified first. And obviously we have many products like the power prawn and, and blackout chum and, and the, the bull bay custom salt strong rod that are only going to inside our members. And we're going to have more and more of those products because uh, quite honestly, just the supply is so tough and we're going to reward our, our best, our, our family members, if you will, our, our customers who are supporting us the most. And, uh, and, and, and kind of get to them first. And even it's gone to the point where our employees, I know Justin's about to, to kick me, is he can't even buy reels. Like none of us are buying reels. So any reels that you see that we're using, even new stuff, we're going out on the market ourselves and paying full price for them. Uh, we are not, we literally, our entire team has been told we are not allowed to buy any rods or reels in particular, because that those have been two of the toughest things to get. 
uh, because we want to give them to you insider members first. And then if there's any left, you know, then to the, to the rest of the public, if you, uh, if you will, but get on the notification list, that is the guaranteed way. When we do get stuff in, you'll be notified first before we ever send out an email to anyone else before any kind of social media post happens uh, that you will know about it first. If you're on the notification list, because this stuff goes quick. Uh, if we have an order of 500 Iowa Fuegos, we might get 10, we might get 30. I don't know. Like we get so excited. The whole team's pumped because we'll get, we usually get a notification from FedEx or UPS or DHL that, oh, something's coming from Diava and yeah. we're looking for a big pallet from a big truck. And all of a sudden it's like a delivery driver with a small box. Like you got to be kidding me. And, and it's not their fault. I mean, they're trying as hard as they possibly can. <laughs> they're, they are just as frustrated and also kind of scared, right? Because the worst thing that can happen to the manufacturers is they try to meet all this demand and they are. I know Dye was like cranking up new plants and, and buying new, new, a lot of new machinery and hiring a ton of people uh, just to make it happen. But the worst thing that can happen to them is all of a sudden they fulfill all this stuff like the toilet paper. And then there's just this massive overflow uh, where they don't know what to do with it. And it's all sitting in, in warehouses. So it's, it's a really wild, crazy storm. Um, and, 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 there's a lot of issues that have to get fixed and, and the whole Chinese new year did not help either. Right. Cause that like after Christmas, and if you guys know about the Chinese new year, where unfortunately a lot of the, the components and parts for, for fishing tackle is made, you know, they basically shut down for a full month. I mean, a full 30 days and some plants are 35, 40 days. And so that made it even worse. And, and then now the, you know, the shipping issues and these container ships are all kind of getting, you know, pre-bought, uh, and, and, and a couple of them, like the one went overboard. I mean, I mean, literally like flipped over in that tsunami. I mean, it was just like, oh, how, it's, how, it's, a, it's a complete mess. How crazy can this stuff get? And the Sioux Canal, I mean, gets clogged with container ship and that like, it's just, it's like, what else could possibly happen? Knock on some wood here. Nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's wild. Yep. So what do you think, Justin? What are, um, what, what are you telling people? I know you're getting emails all the time. What are you communicating to, to, to people when they I'm say, all right, when, when are we going to get this stuff in? I get questions every day from insider members and customers that are browsing on fishstrong.com and wanting to know when can we see more Daiwa reels? When can we see more Z-Man jig heads? When can we see this plastic and this, you know, crusty crabs and like all of these, I mean, any product you can think of. Um, and without directly telling somebody, I don't know, because I really don't like to say that at all. I let people know just the updated information as I receive it from a manufacturer. I go straight back to the manufacturer and just try to get a real time update on, hey, this is when we placed the order for the product. It was three, six, nine months ago sometimes. Can we expect it in the next four weeks? Can we expect it in the next six or eight? God, I don't want to keep saying more, but really good news or bad news, <clears throat> we ask manufacturers to share with us anything that they can so that we can do our part and educate you guys and give you a, a real time update of, of what's going on. And, um, you know, we've learned pretty quick that this change that's happening of, again, being able to place an order and getting stuff in a couple of weeks to placing an order and getting it in three months or six months or nine months or a year, depending on how much we need to get in, we do try to order as much as we can to support all of our customers. You know, we're never just ordering shy. We're ordering mountains and mountains deep yeah. and we get a piece of it and not knowing when we can get more. So we're trying to do our best to communicate with our insiders first, let people know this is on its way. I don't know how many, we try to notify you guys so you can get the opportunity to get it. But even then, sometimes we come up short in supplying all of our insiders. And that's hard because we want to make everybody happy. We want to support you guys and supply you guys with all of your tackle needs, anything you need to be, you know, more successful on the water and load up your box and get out there and go for any species you want in, in your region and territory. That's our priority. We love you guys. We want to make sure that we're not only teaching you how to be better at fishing, but teach you kind of what's happening in the world today and help you understand that we're taking steps to try to be ahead of the curb in any way we can in acquiring tackle so that before you ask, 
hey, what rod or reel or lure or jig head that we're already there. We're already there with, hey, we got you, man. We've already tested a whole bunch of stuff. We can get this stuff in. We've planned six months, eight months in advance to get this stuff in for you. And, uh, and you know, hope that you can understand that as we go through the ebb and flow of being in stock and out of stock very, very quickly, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse. We're happy to, to have the business and have so much support from all you guys out there. But at the same time, um, it's hard to get all of it in at one. I mean, Joe worded it. It's piecemealing. And, and manufacturers have said it this, at the same way, we're getting piecemeal on products. And that is what everybody is going through right now. Every independent big box store, they're all in the same shoes. So um, you know, we hope you guys can understand and ask us the questions, ask us you know, for updates. It's, it's our responsibility to educate you and educate people you know, that fish about what's happening today and, and how can we be more prepared for the future. Yep. And the great news is it will get better, just like the whole toilet paper thing did. It took some time. Uh, it, it did get better. And just know, just like Daiwa would gladly love to take a $100,000 check from us to buy more, more reels, uh, but they can't even take it because they can't fulfill it. It's the same with us, you know, I, and, it, and it pains us just like it would pain you to watch your child being hurt or not understanding something when we get emails from, from you guys like ticked off at us, like, oh yeah, you're, everything's out in your shop. Like, trust me, we would love to take your money and give you stuff today and have it overnighted. I mean, that would, that would give us immense joy. Uh, so just know that we are trying our best. It, this is not a situation we want to be in. It's not a situation the manufacturers want to be in and even our competitors. I mean, I, I would say be patient with them. Be patient with the big box retailers and the, and the smaller mom and pop tackle stores. They're, they're all struggling through this. I mean, there, we've heard of some that, that are really, really struggling, like, you know, might not make it kind of a deal because they just can't get enough supply. I mean, you know, some yeah. of these mom and pop tackle stores are kind of going month to month, if you will. And all of a sudden they, they have a couple of good months and then they can't get anything for three or four months. And I mean, it, it's tough. Uh, I mean, they have nothing else to sell their people and trust me, they would love to sell all of their loyal customers stuff. So just have some patience and, uh, and keep coming back to us. We want to have an open dialogue about all of these, these issues. And um, my, my guess it, it, it probably is going to be 2022 before we're even back to somewhat of a, of a normal that once again, that doesn't mean you're not going to be able to get your favorite rod and reel. And, and, and we're like, we're way, 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 going heavy, like on slam shadies and power prawns and Alabama leprechauns. Like that's a little bit easier because all that stuff is made in oh, USA. Yeah. So it's a little bit easier and we can go drive and start like banging on some doors and, and, uh, and getting stuff. But even then that, I don't know if you guys know, but I mean, a lot of this plastic's got plastic saw and it's got petroleum and that comes in chips and a lot of it's in Texas. And when Texas had that freeze, like that shut everything down for a, a solid month and, and or longer. Like it's just been all these crazy things are, are just like working against getting tackle in your hands, but it is getting better. It will get a whole lot better. It will get back to normal at some point. This is not like we're all going to have to be like, you know, this is our new normal. It will get back to normal. Uh, everyone agrees, at least with that, in terms of being able to, to get tackle and, you know, in the snap of a finger, it's just not going to happen anytime soon like we thought it was. So it's going to affect all of us. It's going to affect everyone from the biggest buyers out there, to, to people like us that are catching up to them, thanks to you guys uh, and the, even the small mom and pop. So uh, we just appreciate it big time. As Justin said, we love you. And if there's anything we can do to better serve you, let us know. Uh, we will be continuing to, uh, to get some uh, more proprietary products in. That's something that we're working on big time, uh, both ourselves and even doing some, some partnerships like we did with Bull Bay and, and some other ones that I can't name yet. Uh, that are working on some some proprietary products just for our insider members because it now is 21,000 members and, and they want to serve you. So that's the cool part is these manufacturers are super excited about the Salt Strong Insider Club and teaming up with us and creating products just for you for, for you know, for intro saltwater fishing. So a lot of cool stuff uh, coming there, but it's just going to take time until they can catch up. We're not going to be able to get as much as we want of any of it. So any questions, hit us up. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, we're going to have a blog post. That's where, that's the only place we're going to answer questions, by the way, it's because I know we'll get too many and all these different, because this gets published in like 50 different places. So on our site, saltstrong.com it will come to Jess and I we will be on there answering those so saltstrong.com it's in the fishing tips section and 
you will see the blog post there about the state of the union and, you know, kind of the truth about the fishing, uh, fishing tackle industry and what's happening now with supply and demand. So leave a question there. We would love to help answer it. Anything goes, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to, to get to you and get to you quickly. So anything else, J dog and you're uh, I feel like I'm taught like you're a news reporter and everything's like a little bit late. You know, you hear the people like we're in the middle of a hurricane. Uh, yes. So yeah. Justin Ritchie here <laughs> reporting. From yeah. Thanks Jay. Bombay. It's coming. It's raining cats and dogs here. And yeah, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit rough on my side. Just uh, chime in guys. We like hearing from you. Ask us questions. We're, we're here to help you in any way that we can. So reach out to us and we'll do our part to get any answers for you for tackle, for fishing techniques. You know, that's what it's all about, man. It's anglers helping anglers. Yep. Cool. Guys, we appreciate you. We will talk to you on the next episode. Peace. We out.